we'll be wanting to create a trigger, making sure that we only want to continue this story if it's a status code of 200. So we'll go to the left action panel and grab the trigger action and pull it into our story now. Let's connect the story just by dragging that arrow from the previous action. And then click into this data pill. This is where we're going to reference the value that we are going to test for the trigger. Go ahead and delete that and we're going to select this second option for submit URL and then period and then status. And then we'll see 200 on the bottom right hand corner. And all we're doing is we're building out the JSON path to make sure that we're referencing that value that we're looking for. Do command enter or control enter if you're on Windows. And we see here that it's set to foo. So let's set that to 200. So if the value is equal to 200, then we will continue running the story. If it's not equal to 200, it'll essentially stop right here. Currently it's set to is equal to, but we can see that there are different options that we can create the trigger value off of. So we can say if it's not equal to, if it's contains, if it's greater than or less than, if it's a number. So we definitely have a lot of options when leveraging the trigger. Now that we have that trigger set up, let's add in another action. We're going to go to the left bar and pull in another event transform. We'll connect the trigger to that new action. And let's update the name of this action. We are going to create a delay. When we click into the mode, it was originally set to message only, which is what we used originally for our set URL. We're going to use delay for this event type, but there are multiple ways that we can use the event transform. Depending on which mode you have set, you're going to see different options available on this kind of right hand property window. So let's go ahead and switch it from message only to delay and see what options are available for us to modify. Immediately we lose our builder and now we have this seconds. It sets a 10 second delay, which I'm totally fine with. So I'm going to leave it be, but you can always change that number if you'd like. 